ladies welcome back to the channel i'm yanka the excellent wife and mom and i'm glad that you're here so this is just a short video on like what we've been doing in the november and what we plan to do in december and i just have some um things here that i think will be helpful for you so first of all i wanted to share my um in the beginning well in september uh i had all the kids make vision boards and so my um eight-year-old brought me his board today he said mom look I've got three things off my vision board already. And so, you know, he was showing me, he had a, um, let me see, a red golf club set on his vision board and he got one um, this month, I think earlier this month. And then he had uh, an airplane hanger and we had a corporate hanger at the airport, but then um, we were on the waiting list for a private hanger and after four years it finally opened up so now we have a private hanger and so that was on his vision board and then uh the other thing that he had oh he wanted a new tablet and so he had the tablet on there and he got a tablet as well so i think it was really cool for him to see that and then show me you know these things that was the vision board that came to pass and so my um oldest son he um he my husband you know uh, introduced him to the stock market so now he has an account and now he's learning about stock mark the stock stock market so that's um exciting he's so excited about it and i'm just so pleased for him um so we've uh kind of we started out with the uh workbooks and then the kids were like you know what no i saw how they were reacting like we kind of want to do these so i just pulled back from that that's fine and so we've uh, been doing of math with or working with the um base 10 box which i love i think these are amazing so i got this from this is base 10 cent i ordered this from amazon and you know it is so good you know for teaching place value and all of that and multiplication i mean you can do like all the math of this so it has you know the uh ones tens hundreds and thousands and so I do it with all, you know, all the kids, the, my six-year-old, the, even the, my uh, preschool when she wants to do math, so she counts with the blocks. But this is cool, too. Um, let me get this little board out. But you see, they can write, you know, the number. And what I do, we, we play games with it. So, like, you know, I write out a number or put out, you know, actually I'll put this out. And then they have their dry erase boards, and they write out the number that I put on the um out in these blocks so that's been real fun and that way they get math in and you'll be amazed at the things they come up with so we've been doing that and um oh this uh this book is fantastic i love this little book um, 101 great science experiments i think a neighbor gave this to me <laughs> but we've been doing these experiments i think i uploaded a, a couple of them that we've done but i'll probably be sharing more but this my eight-year-old is really into science he loves doing experiments so we've drawn a lot from this book but it has all these great simple experiments and most of the stuff you know you have around home so um th and it's a dk book so if you're interested in this um like i said that was free and then we did we went um we've been reading a lot so i like this book uh tales of famous americans so we've been reading about different ones they like have uh um, let me see a couple of presidents, George Washington, Abe Lincoln, and they have Martin Luther King, Harriet Tubman, just different ones and what they did. So this is a good history for history and you want to do timelines and stuff. This is a great little book for that. Um, and then actually for geography and um, that kind of stuff as well. So we've been speaking of geography, geography, you know, um, doing this puzzle. I think I got this from a dollar store. We have a, like three or four different um, U.S. maps map puzzles but they like this little one so they've been putting this together like all month long so that's been great and like i said i got that from the dollar store and i have a couple of those and then we have some bigger ones but they tend to like that one and then we um this book creativity um this was a fun book they really enjoyed this idea too um i think i got this from the um we have all of these little free libraries in our neighborhood so we just walk and you know get books and trade books so i think this is one that came from there and that's been really good and we also went to the library and we got um, a lot of books from there. But um, the boys, they got a bunch of Lego books and they have been making a bunch of different. This is just one of them that I grabbed from upstairs, but there's plenty of them. But they've been, um, 
I mean, sit for hours and just create new little things and just, you know, going through this book. And so I'm, you know, I'm looking at the concentration, you know, and just the fortitude and just the determination that they have to just build these different things. And I think it's fantastic. So like I said, these are from the library and it's a whole bunch of different ones that they all have. They, I think we have like six different Lego books. So they've been, I let them go till their hearts are content because they're into it. So I let them do that. Um, and then this is one we got from the library also, um, different little foods and things, you know, all about New York. And I actually, I'm going to take them down to the city because they, both, both of my boys are really into, um, they like architecture. I noticed that my son is always talking about buildings. And so, and the other one is always talking about going to New York city. They, they've gone before they, but they don't remember they were a little small. So since it's kind of been shut down or not running regularly we haven't been in since we didn't go last year so it's been a while since we've gone so once that gets back up and uh, running we're going to go back to new york city because the architect architecture is great and it has great history in that city as well and then um of course this is one of thanksgiving books this is 12 th days of thanksgiving but uh you know my little ones so i read to them but it's fun because even when i read to the little one the big ones come along and they like to be read too so i'm like sure and then um, this Hanukkah book, because um, Hanukkah starts, um, I think, on Monday. So we're, we were learning about that. Um, and on their tablets, they have these word games. Now, I love word games. Like, we, I love them. So we, um, and they pulled them, they, you know, downloaded these themselves, these um, different word games and you, you know they had them scrambled up and you had to figure out the word or they have give you clues and we like we'll sit here and this is their space that i'm sitting in right now but we would sit here and just like um you know do the i love brain teasers so you had to figure out the brain teaser so we were doing that and like we did that for a couple of weeks just doing these word games so much fun and right now they're really into chess like they started this no chat no stress chess I, I think I mentioned this before but it was great for teaching them the game but then um, they started and I think it took them like a week and a half to learn it week and a half maybe two weeks at the most but they got it down and they played my six-year-old my eight-year-old and my nine-year-old and my husband they have been playing chess like every single day a couple of times a day so chess is the game in the house at the moment they all love it and they're all into it so <laughs> it's really good so that's kind of what we've been doing and i can um plan on continuing on this track you know um just like for this month of december just kind of going with the things that they're interested in um you know doing some projects they want to you know name some projects they want to do so we're going to do those we made i think soap this past in November and we made we made something else I believe but you know there we bake every week they like to make cookies and things so we always doing that kind of stuff as well but it's so much you know into that but you know you know as a homeschool you're always uh, learning is holistic so um I don't try to do okay you got to do me I have to do this and that I'm looking at everything we're doing and then I can pull out okay they did this today okay I saw fractions here this was that there so that's the best part about unschooling that you know the whole holistic thing you just see how they are learning and what interests them and i'm so glad that they have such an interest and speaking of chess we were watching a movie the other day it was something the life of a king i think but that was a really good movie and my kids were they were like glued to the set so it was really good so that's all i have for now this video is long enough i didn't want to be that long but it's longer than i thought but anyway ladies thanks for joining me um happy uh thanksgiving um and happy homeschooling. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.